Yo guys, what's going on? I just got these beautiful holsters in from Century Gun Leather. Man, I never seen nothing like this. I I went to this guy's website and I seen these holsters. I'm like, Jesus, they're like the nicest Kydex holsters I've ever seen. I mean, I love that two-tone. And uh, I called them and uh, ordered the one for the Glock 19 and a magazine pouch. And they got here like in three to four days. Very fast shipping. Um, just like other people that's been here, the guy puts his heart and soul into his work. Um, I love this flat dark earth two-tone, and I love how the extended, the holster, the shell on the back, the other part of it, is a little bigger than the front, and it extends out and gives you that borderline. So they have a real beautiful look to them. Not only are they high quality, but now, finally, we got a holster that actually looks just as nice as it is. Kydox holsters, you know. A lot of old timers, you know, they don't like them. They're plastic, you know, they're black, whatever. They just, they look cheap, but they're not cheap. They work great. Now we got something that has that gun look to it. And uh, it's just as satisfying to look at it as to use it too. For the first time you're seeing this on my channel. Anyway, I love this guy's work. He's got the belt loops on there so to make sure it fits my boxer tactical belt. 1.75 in inches. This will be my uh, my magazine pouch, and uh, so I can carry an extra mag, especially where I work. And uh, look at the work he does. I, I love how his holster kind of domes instead of crimp bends. Some holsters are like they crimp it and they bend it and they they crimp it and they bend it, which is fine. But your body's really not shaped like this. Your body's shaped like this, especially me. I look like a jelly bean. So this is, has a nice perfect arced dome on it. I like how that. So it'll be more comfortable. Pretty much more comfortable. Um, love the flat dark earth and the black. It's like my one, that and OD green and black. Like my two favorite combination colors. And then here's the holster itself. I got it taped up because I want it to look real sweet when I turn the camera on. It's for a Glock 19. Same thing. If you look at the holster's contour, it's not bent. It's actually shaped on its has a natural sweep like your body is. Um, great uh, gauge thickness of Kydex. Wonderful definition as you can see. The retention is just the way I asked for it. I said I like medium retention. I don't like a lot of retention. I don't like it too loose. And he made it just the way I asked for it. And you can see the definition that it is a Glock. You can even see the little uh, the takedown tab in there. So that's like beautiful work. Um, we got the heavy duty screws in here. They're not like cheap screws. They're beautiful, uh, commercial finish looking screws, even in the back. They're real. It doesn't look like a homemade holster is what I'm telling you. It looks like, 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 uh, you know, like DeSantis made this, you know, and this is, uh, a guy, his name's Sean that made this and he's a great craftsman. All the edges, you know are all sanded, there's no burrs, no rough edges, everything's polished and sand all the way around. Um, the biggest thing with this holster is, for me, is uh, um, the way it fits my gun and the way it looks, to be honest with you. I love just the way this thing looks. Finally, a Kydex holster that looks beautiful. You know what I mean? So let's put the gun in it. Now this gun is loaded, so let's make sure we clear it. This is a Glock 19, which is the same size as a Glock 23. So it'll work both in there. I'll uh, pop the mag out, clear the chamber, make sure it's all hit. Nothing in there. Pull the trigger. Okay, now I'm going to put the mag back in to show you what it looks like, you know, all holstered up. Here's the holster. What he did was he opened the end for me in case I ever get like maybe a Glock 17 and then it'll fit in there. The muzzle will stick out. And it'll fit in here, so it gives you. It just gives me an an option. If I ever got a Glock 17, uh, I'd be able to use this for it. So it just broadens my options. That's very very clever. Now you'll see how this fits in here. It slides in, and then you got a nice retention to lock. Yeah, buddy, that's what I want to hear. A nice snap, but it's not too much. Now the gun is full of ammo. The mag is, so it's heavy. So that's the best best time to give it the upside down test is when the gun has rounds in it, not when it's empty. So you can see it's not coming out of there. Another thing he does, he leaves a lot of clearance in here. 
that's very important some holster companies don't make the uh, you know the trigger guard this come up too far so when you put your hand around it your, your hands kind of bump, bumping into the holster you can't get a good grip on it but this as you can see and I'm not, I'm not even grabbing it right I'm grabbing it the wrong way like this and there's still a quarter inch clearance in here where the holster is not even getting in my way so normally how I would draw is obviously like this that's how I was taught and I would draw like that so I as you can see this knuckle here has plenty of clearance and comfort where I if I have to get my gun out quick nothing's going to get in the way I can just reach for my holster and get it out right away reholster don't have to worry about just getting in my way because that happens sometimes if people don't make the holster right Sean you did a beautiful job I am thrilled to death with this holster I love how they look I love how they're made and I will wear this to work today I will wear this Sean what's good about also good about Sean is he does make outside the waistband holsters just as much as he makes inside the waistband holsters so if you want an outside the waistband no problem if you want an inside the waistband no problem and most of all his uh, his prices are definitely cheaper than anybody else's and you're getting work that's probably just as good if not even better what can I say Sean you do beautiful work dude I mean I looked at this he even sands the clips he even sands and rounds them off it's like there's no no rough edges there's nowhere anything can snag there's nowhere anything could like you know irritate you or get on your nerves it's totally anti-snag smooth sailing baby Glock 19 you got a new home I'm really uh, I really love this thing and I want to thank Sean for making it he did a beautiful work here's the mag pouch we'll show you that take the mag out of here and as you can see goes in there nice positive snap full magazine full of ammo it's not coming out in case I'm running and I'm rolling around yeah that might happen this ain't gonna come out but at the same time it's not re too much retention where I can just pull it out and uh, insert it in my weapon God forbid if I need it and these come in all different colors you can get OD green and black you can get black on black you can get coyote on black you can you can get it any way you want it. Any way you want it, whole make it inside, outside, no questions asked. And like I said, his prices, he's a little cheaper than anybody else. That's that's the great thing. And if you tell him the armory, if you tell him the armory channel, say if you yeah, can you say it, dude? Really? If you told if you tell him he's seen it on my channel, he'll even give you a better deal. But I'll, I'll let him explain that to you. Because uh, I don't want to say it the wrong way and, and, uh, and uh, misrepresent anything. But it's cool that he's got he's gonna hook you up if you tell him you've seen him you seen the holsters from my channel. So that's that's a great thing right there. Alright guys, like I said, um, I've got so many Kodak holsters from so many people and uh, I was super excited about getting these. Really was. Almost as almost as excited as when I get the, got the uh, KSG. And by the way, the KSG, I shot it again last night, it ran even better. First time I shot it, I didn't oil it. I just pulled it out of the box and shot it. Okay? Took it apart last night and oiled it. Oiled all the parts that rubbed together. Went back to the range and man, it ran like freaking butter. So glad I got that gun. Anyway, this video is about Century Gun Leather. I just wanted to give you an update on that real quick.